you. International Service for Human Rights. Thank you. Uh, in November 2022, the third release a rare historic decision on the situation in Xinjiang under its urgent action and early warning procedure. For the first time ever, the third referred the matter to the special advisor on R2P. Yet, we regret that the joint UN Office on Genocide Prevention and R2P has neither acknowledged the referral nor acted upon it publicly. The third echoes findings of the UN Human Rights Office, the ILO, treaty bodies, and special procedures, and urges China to immediately release all those held or, or disappeared in detention facilities in Xinjiang fully review its national security legal framework and stop intimidating Uyghurs abroad. In August 22, the OACHR found possible crimes against humanity. Earlier, the UN Special Rapporteur on Slavery had also found that some excuse instances me, of I, Uyghur I forced see, labor, quote, I, may amount to enslavement. Me, I see the, uh, please, please, Chinese delegation. Some person has used um, uh, certain insulting words to smear and attack China. China firmly condemns and rejects such behavior. Genocide is clearly and strictly defined internationally. Xinjiang is at its best of times of development. People of all ethnic groups live in peace and contentment. The Uyghur population and the population of other groups continue to grow. Their human rights have been fully guaranteed. The so-called genocide is, is sinister and um, cannot be further from the truth. We ask the president to ask the person to stop such violating speech. Thank you. Uh, we are holding uh, the interactive dialogue uh, with the Special Advisor to the Secretary General on the Prevention of Genocide. So long as the speaker is framing his or her comments uh, within the context of the presentation and report, the statement is permissible. With this in mind, let me give the floor back to the speaker. The Uyghur Tribunal concluded that the Chinese government committed genocide via measures to prevent Uyghur births and other crimes against humanity. Seldom has the gap between the breadth of UN documentation and the lack of action by this Human Rights Council been so flagrant. Each and every government's decision to stay silent or to block accountability hampers the credibility of this council and entrenches China's impunity for atrocity crimes. The third concludes with its decision with a crucial message to all states here. It, quote, reminds all states of their responsibility to cooperate to bring to an end through lawful means to any serious breach of human rights obligations, including the prohibition of racial discrimination. The international community failed Rwandans in 94. It let us not fail again. Thank you very much.